This is addressed to the Damage Control, the Young Turks, and the Ring of Fire. Also to a gentleman named Farron and Yasmin. In regards to what Louisiana did in sneaking in religion the hard way. Right past your nose and you didn't even see it coming. Say goodbye to public education. Now guys, one of you happened to be working in a law firm but is not a lawyer. But did you not think of the legal ramifications? Even if you were working in a law firm, doesn't make you a lawyer. But you didn't see this one coming because you weren't paying attention. How does a state lose public education? They sneak in school board members who believe and separation of church and state. Up and down in the counties, in the cities, in the districts. In order to get this work done, now I know you're going to be saying it to uh, see for conspiracy, but I wouldn't put it past him in the first place. But you probably think I'm a nut job on this one. As soon as I start thinking about it and trying to analyze what Louisiana did. They don't care about public education. No, it's my, it's what they're indicating to me, unfortunately, is indoctrination. Just how bad the um, education level is for Louisiana. Should we do a Google search on this one? Now, according to what edweek.org had produced in an article when I did a Google search, it said this year, and I have to see which particular year this article published, 2019. Well, I didn't get anything recent now, did I? But from a 2019 article, they're indicating that Louisiana finished 48th among 50 states in And the District of Columbia was an overall score of 67.9 out of 100 points and a grade of D+. Plus. Nation as a whole posted a grade of C. Now, this is according to edweek.org. Article was dated, uh, dated January 16, 2019. Updated September 4, 2019. Now, why is this important? Well, basically, it indicates to me just how rotten their education level is. Authorized by both state and local level. If there is such a thing called good public education, I don't think so. I don't think so. Looking upon statisticalatlas.com, and I had looked into Google search for this one. They locked in on the Louisiana educational attainment. Highest level of education among uh, age 25 and older. Uh, let's see, no high school diploma, about 49,000. Actually, 496K. High school diploma, 1.69 million. Higher education, 87 point. Well, one should actually feel okay about the educational atonement, but we are putting religious icons in there, so how do we get past that situation? Basically, the school boards have to allow that, don't they? We are dealing with a public education system paid for by tax dollars. But the Louisiana governor wants change that badly. And he's got to work with the legislature in there who passed the bill, allowed him to sign it. So they all want the indoctrination going in. 
Where was the dissenting vote on it? What was the dissenting vote on this? Because that'll tell you very little or limited areas of Louisiana Territory that would not want the Bible being taught to kids in school. Unless it's a church school or we're dealing with charter education which means private education, which means not public funding. Unless, of course, we're going to be dealing with the transfer of funds from the public education system into the charter school systems. Sounds familiar between Colorado and Texas, don't you think? Of course, in those schools, you have indoctrination by siphoning up funds from the public education sector. And that also could be done by the state government of Louisiana if you still want the indoctrination to go on. But we are placing the Ten Commandments and any other religious icon in there. Now, they are opening up a door for this that the ACLU doesn't want opened. But I got a feeling that they're going to be going for charter education to have it allowed to happen. Screw around with the public education system. Make sure that the controversy continues on. If the school boards have this conniption of placing or allowing the Ten Commandments in there, will they also be allowing other religious pieces in there? And how can private education pay for this on public education property? But the state law is stating that of Louisiana. That, purchase, that passed by a governor who still wants religious doctrination of Christian nationalism. Stretches? Well, then you put in the Ten Commandments in public education and probably moving forward to putting it into public buildings at this point. We are talking about stretching the First Amendment rights. But you've also failed to notice that when you were mentioning about previous years, which particular administrations we had during that time and which particular justices left or remained alive necessary for the denial of having religious aspects into a public building. Did you ever think about that one? You guys didn't say it. You should have. You didn't think clearly enough on this one. But you also have to think of maneuvering. It's not just that. It's something else. It's still continuing the extreme movement of having religious theism of Sharia law of sorts being put into play. Now, for decades, they've been wanting this stuff going on. We have other red states talking about this. We've had red counties in blue states talking about this. Would they allow just a Holy Bible to be taught in there? But nothing else? Would that be against a school board? An ordinance of a town? A county decision? A state requirement or law? And how would this affect the federal government? But then again, you're looking for victims. There must be a victim. The victims are there. You just hadn't seen them yet. But they want to see the blood, huh? They want to see where's the pain and suffering that makes the court case go. Yes, the ACLU will file a case on this one because they're seeing this ahead of time. Imagine, if you will, if we were still in a state of siege, in a state of war, just imagine, okay? Just use your imagination on this one. Against an enemy that we have been fighting against. Now, if somebody wants to pull in a sucker punch weapon, it'll do a hell of a lot of damage to your enemies. But the enemies are within your own country, state, town borders but you want to use a sucker punch weapon that's a going to be taking out a lot of people's opinions one way or another 
and illegal as hell because it goes against the Constitution. But what a court stacked up with conservatives. They know they'll be changing the dy dynamics forever on this one of the U.S. Constitution because now we have something would bypass it. But this is a sucker punch weapon we're dealing with, isn't it? They think that private funds in the public education system is going to be it, but if we're dealing with, say, an atomic bomb, atomic bomb that's going to be used in a classroom. I'm saying hypothetically in the situation here about the atomic bomb, but we've already got the sucker punch weapon of a sort because this is Louisiana's sucker punch. But I'm saying if we were still at World War at World War II and we were doing Japan at this point, and we already found out about the here about the uh, Manhattan Project, we found out about Fat Man and Little Boy. Would the public go ape on this one? If every state, everybody within the 48 states during that time, excluding Alaska and Hawaii because they weren't part of World War II. But imagine if we actually found out about the damn World War II bomb. And we had a public alien announced saying, Emperor, you're going to stop this, otherwise we're going to stop you with this thing. And believe me, it's terrible. You don't want to know about it. Here's the footage for it. Here's the test footage. Do you understand? We're serious. They probably would have, uh, probably would have said, we will die to the last man. You can bomb us. Or, they probably would have said, okay, we don't want the suffering. We'll deal with the shame. We'll deal with the humility. Oh, we'll just... We'll be taking our own lives in that point. They don't want to deal with the shame. And they don't want to deal with this. I'm thinking on that level concerning about the sucker punch weapon that Louisiana is doing by putting religion in because there will be victims on this one. People who are Jewish, people who are Muslim, of different faiths, including if you have Native American as well. And if we actually do have the representation in there, Are they going to be victimized, or are they going to be indoctrinated? And who's going to be filing the, who's going to be going after the school boards on this one? All it takes is one mouth, one mouth in on this one. Let's start the chain reaction. All it takes is that kind of slip, and we got an issue going on. But they already made this public that they're going to be doing this. They're going to be financing it with, with private donations to have the Ten Commandments in there. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody tore the damn thing down. But to say, no, this is state law. Well, who's going to be monitoring it? The school boards? Are they going to be making sure that they're going to be in there every single day? Are they going to be forcing the school teachers and principals and maybe undercovers to make sure that we have Sharia law going on but we need victims we need victims on this one okay so we're going to be detonating this proverbial hypothetical non-existent weapon we already gave you the warning for it now say goodbye to that territory now what are you going to do they're going to scream and say that the Constitution has to be applied. Yes, it must be applied. But we also need to have weapons. We need to have victims. Well, now we got indoctrination. There's your victims right there. But it's going to be up to the parents and students to say no. And there's going to have to be a backlash on this one before school starts. And the ACLU is hoping for this. Because they're saying the same situation I am right now. It's not just 
forcing uh, indoctrination in public education. It's taking away public education and forcing it into a charter school system. I got a sneaking suspicion, and this hit me while I was listening to you guys. I'm thinking, no, that's not the play. That's not one play. There was another play in there somewhere. I'm thinking, and I don't want to think it, but I thought it anyway, so I might as well tell you guys about it. What if they take away public education and keep out the private? And the private is going to be is going to be funded by those who can afford it. Screw the public education. Screw the colleges at this point. And just go in for indoctrination through a charter system. I hope to God I'm wrong. I hope this is not the play that they're doing. Because this scares the hell out of me. If this play actually works. To say the goodbye to public education across the board in the country. Call it fear mongering. I would. I would. I'm hoping I'm wrong. Hope to God Almighty I'm wrong on this one. By forcing religion one way or another, we're also going to be forcing the issue up front. Do we want the United States Constitution redrafted? Are we forcing the U.S. Constitution to be redrafted? Are we going to be taking everything that we had for 248 years, coming up on 248 years, away to be redrafted into something else? I wouldn't put it past them anyway. You take away public education, you pay, take away public funding of anything and everything. Maybe they'll do the corporate. The corporate's got to see some kind of bottom line on this one. they got to see the profit margin on this one. Is it going to be profitable for them to do this level of manipulation? To keep their profits going? Maybe. But to have a country run by corporations entirely and a government system... It's just a piece of paper. Yeah. Something to be denied, right? So how come I feel like throwing up?